Hey guys, it's Rayanne. I'm going to do the September 2018 Sephora Play unboxing. With me is the groom, Joey, my husband. So I, if you haven't been following the channel very long, I have intermittent eye issues and I really can't see that well right now, so he's going to help me out. As best I can. Yes. So here's the box. It looks a little bit different than the other boxes we've gotten. They had smaller stripes, so that's interesting. I like it when they shake it up a little bit. I pre-cut it, so there's what it looks like when we open it up. You can see the Beauty Insider points right there falling out. Good catch. So I'm going to hold it. He's going to hold the, the insert just because he's not really super familiar with a lot of <laughs> beauty products or Actually, the impre like. impressively enough, I know what half of the things in this box are. Awesome. So here's the little bag that comes in this time. It looks like, oh, it's like a little Ziploc bag. Turn it around to the back. And here's the back. Opens bag, pours out samples, high five self. Well, luckily I have you to high five me. So here's our bag. I'm not sure if you can really see what's inside it, but I'm going to reach in. First thing feels like a perfume sample. That is... I think I have it upside down. Let me see. This is the yeah, Flower Bomb Nectar by Victor and Rolf. Oh, cute. Oh, against the grain. So uh -huh. I'm going to pop that open and give it a sniff. All right, it says, this explosive scent combines a delicate flora bouquet with smoky and metallic notes for a more sensual interpretation of the original fragrance. Victor and Rolf push, pushes boundaries with couture fragrance collections that embody a transcendent world of glamour and fantasy. That, that's a lot. The fragrance, flame, the fragrance family Wait, is warm and spicy. Top notes are... Osmanthus and orange blossom. Middle notes are tonka bean liqueur, and the base notes are gunpowder accord. You know what? I had to double check that when I thought that said gunpowder. That's interesting. Why does it smell like gunpowder? Not really. That's I don't know. I don't even. Know I don't know how to feel about that because there's a lot going on with this. That's busy. There's there's a lot. I'll have to give this a little bit. Let it work with my <laughs> with my body see how it goes but I always like the perfume samples just because I'm not gonna buy a lot of the high-end perfume that they have in Sephora and try it out so having the little samples is very helpful and there's a bunch that I've really liked like the Burberry one I really liked Marc Jacobs Daisy which was surprising because I'm really not that much into like the really floral scents but that one was nice this next product we have this little puck. All right. That is Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. It's a moisturize. Um, it's an advanced water cream that brightens, hydrates, and plumps skin. This moisturizer, this moisturizer hydrates skin using two types of hyaluronic acid plus tamarind extract. Papaya enzymes smooth and exfoliate, while alpha... Arbutin visually brightens the appearance of dark spots. How to use? Use a dime size amount twice a day after applying a serum or a loan. Pat on top of makeup to lock in hydration. So, I've really wanted to try out a lot of Sunday Riley products, but they're expensive and I can't just jump into that. And with skincare, you really have to try it use first. it for a while to really get the good benefits but this feels amazing and we all know hyaluronic acid is key for anti-aging and the other uh, enzymes and everything are going to be good to kind of like even out skin tone papaya enzymes papaya enzymes who doesn't love papaya who doesn't love papaya so we got a sunday riley i think that's my first sunday riley product ever so i'm very excited and then next we have, looks like a little sample size. It looks like a mascara. That is the Lashcraft Big Volume Mascara in Black from the Sephora collection. Oh, it's Sephora. This full volume mascara with a buildable formula that coats lashes in intense black color. This mascara creates bold, thick lashes with maximum definition thanks to nurturing jojoba oil. 
Jojoba. Is that really how you pronounce it? Yeah. It looks like a, it looks like it, Jojoba, I, I which know. prevents clumps, smudges, and flakes. I will now refer to you as Jojoba. <laughs> I, I feel you. like I remember Jojoba from somewhere. Jojoba. Does anyone remember where that's from? There's Dagobah. the Dagobah. The spoolie looks pretty standard. Dagobah oil. You must go to the Dagobah. These spoolie. always look so funny because it's like a full size spoolie on a sample size mascara, and it's like, oh, that's big. I was about to say that. Okay, that's what makes it look weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was I was looking at that. I'm like, is that supposed to look like? That? Does it say that it's waterproof or no? It doesn't say anything about being waterproof. Then it's not. I prefer non waterproof formulas. Just because the waterproof ones are really harsh on your lashes. And I tend to, like, lose a lot of lashes with the waterproof formula. So I'm excited to try this out. I feel like the packaging a little bit reminds me of Roller Lash for some reason. Just, like, the pink... T oh, my God, I have an empty one right here. I don't know. Anyone else has that crisscross? Yeah, kind of with the design of it. Yeah. That's funny that you mention it and there's an empty yeah. one right there. I just opened a new one and I'm gross and didn't throw it out because I was getting ready for work. So we'll throw that out then. Okay. Were there any more? Nope. Cool. There's a mascara. And this is... This is heat of the moment. This is Peter Thomas Roth. Ooh. It's a Hungarian thermal water mineral rich atomic heat mask. It's a powerful heat mask that uses Hungarian thermal water to nurture skin. Why is it trending? What makes ancient mineral rich thermal water innovative? The water hydrates skin and infuses it with vital nutrients to visually reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, and, e and uneven skin tone. You apply a quarter size amount to cleanse dry skin. Let it sit for up to three minutes. Wet your fingertips and massage the mask to activate the flash of heat, then rinse off. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'm not doing that with you. I wonder, um, if there's heat involved, how people with sensitive skin are going to react to this. And also, like I was showing, there's a little seal on here, which I cannot get off. So if I want to use this, I'm going to have to get your help. Does it say how often you can use it? It does not say uh, any of that. It might say it on, on there. Yeah. Well, typically with masks, you don't want to use a mask or any, like, the same mask or any masks in conjunction with each other more than like two, three times a week, depending on your skin type, because you can really stress your skin out and get it to overproduce oil or just freak out in general and get some face demons, which you don't want. So next product. This is not just lip service. This is by Nude Stick. It's an intense matte lip and cheek pencil in Kiss. A dual purpose matte color pencil in a rosy hue that works for lips and cheeks. Interesting. This pencil fi this pencil fits perfectly into the hybrid beauty trend. It can be used as a lipstick, lip liner, or blush. It lasts for up to six hours without ever feathering or drying out. For rosy lips, outline them and then fill in. Press lips together to ensure color is evenly applied. For blush, gently swipe the pencil across the apples of your cheeks, then blend outward with your finger. There's the color right there. I don't know if you can see it too well. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of a multi-use product, so I probably will only be using this as a lip product. I feel as if you need to pick one and stick with it. Yeah, I mean, I don't use a lot of cream products to begin with because my skin's really oily, and that's just asking for it to kind of slide right off. That's probably, that's probably good in, like, a pinch. Yeah, I mean, you like, need, if you're traveling. Yeah, if you need something. That would be neat, yeah. but... I've not heard of this product before, so I'm really interested in trying it out. I haven't heard of the brand, really, is what I Nude mean. Nude Sticks. Yeah. Sticks is S-T-I-X. Edgy. So it looks like this is our last product here. And that is by Too Faced. Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Oh, we love Too Faced. A replenishing Faced. primer that hydrates skin and creates a perfect canvas for makeup. Beauty hangovers are no match for this revolutionary primer that's infused with coconut water and other energizing ingredients. Skin looks refreshed, dewy, and makeup ready. See, I Ooh. knew what that I knew what that what that was. I knew what the lip thing was. I knew what the mascara was. I actually knew what all all of this was. This feels really nice. Like it goes on really nicely, but there's a little bit of a grip you can feel. I'm really excited to try that out. 
which means I watch too many beauty videos with you. No, you don't watch enough beauty videos <laughs> with me. I'm still smelling this perfume. I don't know. I feel like it's changed scent now. What? Give that a hit. No, up here. Yeah, it seems like it did. It, sm this it, is seems, like it, smells it seems like it smells different than the this beginning. This is nice. I didn't initially really care for the first scent, but that's not bad. I mean, it's a little... I, I get hints of like a grandma scent in there. A little bit. A little bit. But a little grandma scent in there. So that was... Oh, actually, our play box. Actually, here it explains the uh, the bag. It says "Going Green," a movement everyone can get behind. The more environmentally friendly the packaging, the better. That's why our new play our new play by Sephora bag isn't just on trend. It's also 100% recyclable. I love that. That is awesome. That's awesome. Like I keep all the the cloth play bags I get, and then I repurpose them for you know keeping other things like hair extensions or. When we were traveling to go see my parents, I had makeup brushes in one. I had some other products in another one just to keep it all together. But I really like that they're taking that initiative. More companies need to be green. We need to, you know, put some effort into our planet. So very cool. I will keep this because I think this would be handy. Um, also traveling or just organizing stuff. My work so. is done. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, of course. I wouldn't be able to do it otherwise just because I can't can't really see that well. But what did you guys get in your play box? I know sometimes it differs. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads, live streams. Like the video. Again, leave a comment with your thoughts. Have you tried any of these products? What did you think? How did you feel about this perfume? Because I'm really undecided because I didn't like it. Now I kind of like it, but I don't know if I like it. You know? I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> it's. Well, I'm going to have to give it a little bit. But if you want to follow me on other platforms, you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. And have a good day.